Hello, everybody. Okay, the end of another long day. Got two done today, and uh, the story of the game for me was uh, awesome performance by Will Helmers. Exactly what we needed and expected out of him. Strike thrower, competitor, um, works fast, makes his defense work, and um, he just did a tremendous job. We let him go five innings because his pitch count was so low. Um, you know, it gives us an option of whether or not we want to use him as a starting pitcher or even potentially bring him back on Sunday out of the bullpen, but not sure what we'll do there. But, you know, he set the tone early. And, uh, you know, Southern was, you know, I expected Southern to, you know, play a little bit better than they did tonight. You know, the report on them was they were going to throw strikes and play cleanly on defense. But, you know, they had a rough time throwing strikes early and gave us, you know, some opportunities. And then they they kicked it around a little bit. So it was a little, I, I'm sure that if you talk to Chris, it was uncharacteristic of their team. And we, we took advantage of it. I think we hit four home runs, if I'm not mistaken, in the game. You know, and the reports on the weather were that the wind was going to be blowing in pretty stiffly. It didn't really end up being that way. So, you know, we hit, uh, we ended up hitting four home runs. And, you know, obviously that helped us quite a bit along with the walks and the hit batters and a few errors. So, you know, it was kind of a workman's uh, type of performance. Nothing too exciting, but we got the job done. Paul, on those home runs, y'all now lead the country with 21 this season. Did you have any idea your team had this kind of power entering the year? Um, I'd be lying if I said absolutely, Will, but um, I knew there was potential there. I mean, I, you know, I, I told you, I've said it many times, I think we have some special freshmen, and I think we have a great hitting coach, and Eddie Smith as well. You know, he, he works so hard with these guys every day, and, you know, he, he – he along with myself, you know, we, we've always emphasized a, aggressive approach and attacking the ball and generating bat speed. And, and uh, you know, I, I just think the, the kids work so hard and Eddie works so hard with them, you know, that you're just seeing the fruits of their labor, really. And you have to have the talent to back it up as well. Um, but, you know, to say, well, I, yeah, I thought for sure we'd be leading the country in home runs. I'd be lying if I said that. And it's it's early in the season, of course. There's a long way to go, and the competition's only going to continue to get tougher. But I like where we're at, and I think there's some good things. But, you know, there's been some surprising guys like Zach Arnold. How many home runs does Zach Arnold have now, like three? Yeah, yeah, I didn't really expect that. That <laughs> I mean, I'd be lying if I said I expected Zach Arnold to be – uh, have three home runs in the first however many games we've played. Um, but, you know, we've also could have had a couple more. I, I'll tell you, the, the ball that Dylan Cruz hit to dead center in the first game today, oh, my goodness. It might have been the hardest ball he's hit all year. Uh, and Drew Bianco crushed one to left center field that I think would have on most days been a home run, and they both stayed in the ballpark. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we can keep it up. Coach, what's the overall takeaway from the day today? You were able to, you know, win a game in the bottom of the ninth and win a game in blowout fashion, uh, yeah. a couple of real different games for your club today. You know, many, many years ago, Jacques, I, I used to get upset at my team when, not here at LSU, but at a previous employer, when we would kind of, you know, feel like you played at the level of your competition and you eke out a close victory. And I remember one night talking to my father who was, you know, just the greatest coach ever in my mind, you know, and talking to him on the phone and being upset about, you know, how we played, even though we won and him saying to me, you know, it's better for you to win like this because it helps your team develop poise and composure and tight ball games. And that will pay dividends for you down the road. So I, I've not, I'm not taking anything away from Nichols or talk demeaning them as a program at all. I don't mean that at all. Okay. I thought, Nichols would play us really tough today and they did and they played great and it was a great ball game I don't think we played in any way down to a level of competition but you know after you beat a team 14 to nothing on Saturday night and a couple of days later you know you got a tie ball game in the ninth inning and you know you blow a lead in the eighth you blow a lead in the ninth inning you know people say oh what what's going on it actually is beneficial to your team because 
you learn to, to win those close games. And let's face it, in the SEC, you're going to play a lot of close games. There's very rarely a blowout victory. And your team has to get used to playing those games close uh, with defense, with relief pitching, with clutch hitting and, you know, execution and so forth. So, uh, you know, when, I mean, it, it, it's hard on the stress of the head coach, believe me, because you want to win every game and you'd rather have a little bit more of a relaxed feeling in the dugout. But after it's all said and done, you take a deep breath and you say, well, I'm glad we, we got tested like that because it'll, it'll benefit your team in the long run. And then on the other hand, it's nice once in a while to have a victory where you can coast and play a lot of guys. And it's always good for the morale of the team when you can empty the bench and get a lot of guys at bats. You know, those guys that aren't starters, you know, they practice just as hard and put in the time and, and you like to see them get some game time as well. And you find out things about guys, you know, when you, when you can do that. And, it, you know, they earn more opportunities when you give them opportunities to get into the games.